Hi everyone, it's Gio for footballbook.ca. Welcome back. Week number four of the NFL 2011 season. I was two and two with my picks last week. That brings me up to six, five, and one so far this year. Let's get right to the picks. The first game we're going to look at is New Orleans at Jacksonville, where the Saints are seven point favorites on the road. Jacksonville does one thing really well on offense. They run the ball behind Maurice Jones Drew but they're probably going to have to abandon the run when they inevitably fall behind by a couple of touchdowns to New Orleans, who gets Colston back at wide receiver. Jacksonville has scored the second fewest points on offense, and the Saints have scored the second most. Let's take the Saints minus seven. Our second game has Miami going to San Diego, where the Chargers are seven-point favorites at home. San Diego's really banged up in the receiving core. Antonio Gates probably won't play. Vincent Jackson and Malcolm Floyd are, are nursing uh, injuries, and they might be game-time decisions, and I don't know how effective they'll be even if they do play. Give Miami credit. They almost won on the road last week, and if you remember, they were 6-2 and two on the road last year. Now, we're not in September anymore where the Chargers usually have their slow start, but this is still the, the fourth game of the season. And you know that San Diego never does really well at the beginning of the year. There's a good chance that this might be a, a straight-up upset. I'm not sure if that's exactly going to happen, but let's take the Miami Dolphins plus seven points. Game number three has Buffalo going to Cincinnati, where the Bills are three-point favorites on the road, and everybody's favorite team after knocking off the mighty Patriots last week. Two things to consider here. One team can score a lot of points and the other simply can't score. If the Bills don't have an emotional letdown after their big win last week, I think they're going to hammer these guys. You know, Cincinnati only seems to win games in their own division. They won their first game against Cleveland. They have trouble outside of their the AFC North. Let's take the Bills minus three. And our fourth game has Denver going to Green Bay, where the Packers are 12.5 point favorites at home. Denver's only 1 and 2, but the two losses that they've had have been close. They've lost both of those games by a field goal. I'm not saying that they're going to win this game, but 12.5 points is, is a lot. I don't think Green Bay has even won a game yet by 12.5 points. In a, in a game that should be closer than the line indicates, let's take Denver plus 12.5. Here are my four over-under plays for this week. I'm 4-4 four and four on the year after going 2-2 two and two again last week. The first game is Tennessee at Cleveland. The number is 39. Chris Johnson can't run anymore for Tennessee and Peyton Hillis is gone for Cleveland so there won't be any running in that game. Plus, Tennessee has lost wide receiver Kenny Britt, the only real good threat that they've got. And I can't name a wide receiver for Cleveland. Let's take under 39. Game number two is Washington at St. Louis. The number is 43 and a half. St. Louis is only scoring about 12 points a game so far, and if Washington wants to win this game, they'll probably just try to keep it simple. Let's take under 43 and a half. Game number three is New England at Oakland. It's pretty high, that number. It's 55. But here are two teams that score a lot and give up a lot of points. Until the number in New England games goes into the mid-60s, I'm going to keep playing over, and that's what we'll do in this game. We'll take over 55. And the fourth game is Miami at San Diego. The number is 44 and a half there. You know, Miami has played a couple of really good offenses. They played New England and Houston. And in the New England game, they gave up 38 points. And San Diego, meanwhile, also played New England. And they gave up 35 of their points, which is about half. Apart from that, these two teams have kept it pretty low. I think we're going to take the under here, 44 and a half under. Okay. Here are my straight up picks for this week. Game number one is Detroit at Dallas. Both of these teams are coming off of emotional division wins from last week. Detroit is being asked to win two games in a row on the road, but Dallas is coming off the Monday nighter. What I see in this game is this. There's two things. Quarterback Matthew Stafford is having a homecoming by going back to Dallas, so he'll be highly motivated. And Nick Fairley makes his debut for Detroit on the defensive line, and between him and the Damakong Sioux versus the 
makeshift offensive line of Dallas, I think those two guys are going to throw the the members of the offensive line on, on the Cowboys around like a bunch of rag dolls. I'm going to take Detroit to win. Game number two is New Orleans at Jacksonville. That should be pretty easy. Let's take the Saints. San Francisco is at Philly. Let's take the Eagles in a game that should be closer than people think. The fourth game is Washington at St. Louis. Steven Jackson should be healthy in that game. I'll, I'll take the Rams. Tennessee at Cleveland is a really hard one, but we'll go with the home team. We'll go with the Browns. Buffalo's at Cincy. Let's go the, with the Bills there. The next game is Minnesota at Kansas City. Both teams are 0-3, and, and the loser of this game has a very good chance of getting the number one overall pick for next year, which will probably be uh, uh, Andrew Luck, the quarterback from Stanford. And I'm a big Minnesota fan, and I, I know they'll do the wrong thing and win this game, so let's take the Vikings. And we have Carolina at Chicago. The Bears should win that game. Pittsburgh's at Houston, which should be the game of the week. I'll go with the Texans in this one. Atlanta's at Seattle. The, uh, the Seahawks won their game last week, and that's probably they've probably filled their quota for the month. Atlanta hasn't really lit it up or anything, but let's take the Falcons here. New York Giants are at Arizona. That's a really low spread. Did I miss the memo? I think the spread is one point there, but let's go with the Giants. Denver's at Green Bay. The Packers should win that one pretty easily. New England is at Oakland. It's uh, um, Richard Seymour, the defensive lineman for Oakland, will be playing his first game ever against his old team, the Patriots, and he might be looking for some payback. But New England never loses two games in a row. So let, let's take the Patriots. The Jets are at Baltimore. That should be a, a slugfest, but I think Baltimore will emerge victorious there. And the Monday nighter is Indianapolis at Tampa Bay. I don't know who the quarterback is for the Colts. It doesn't really matter. They can't win. Let's take Tampa Bay there. Okay, those are my picks for this week. Good luck with yours. Please subscribe to my channel, Geo Knows, and please visit my NFL football site, www.footballbook.ca, where we'll have this video and many more other people with their picks on who will win as well. For footballbook.ca, I'm Geo. Let's take the man's money.